Merhaba ve Brazi e, ekibi olarak Dublin Web Summit'teki e, programımıza devam ediyoruz. E, şu anda yanımda Seval Öz var. E, Seval Öz'ü e, Google'da Google'ın sürücüsüz e, araçlarını e, araçlarından daha doğrusu tanıyorsunuz. Daha önce bu görevi yapmış ve geçtiğimiz Ağustos ayından itibaren de Continental'ın e, yine akıllı araçları ile ilgili biriminde e, CEO olarak görev yapmaya başlamıştı. E, Seval Hanım, thanks for accepting our request. Hoş geldiniz. Hoş bulduk. Um, I want to talk about um, actually first of all uh, your uh, responsibility at Google. How is that? Can you give us a brief introduction about sure. your responsibility? There? Sure. I was responsible for the self-driving car projects, mm -hmm. uh, global plat platform partnerships, mm -hmm. um, which included a lot of the integration work we did with the system's hardware and software design with different tier ones. Mm -hmm for braking, steering, motor, uh, that eventually led to the development of the first prototypical vehicles that you see in the press now. Mm -hmm. And um, and now you're at Continental, and you're uh, the CEO of Intelligence Transportation Services, right? What is it about? What is it? What is the focus there, and what are you doing? So Continental AG is a, actually a 140-year-old company mm -hmm. that's listed on the German DAX mm -hmm. uh, that originated as a tire company mm -hmm. uh, in the rubber sector, and still is one of the world's leading mm -hmm. uh, manufacturers of mm -hmm. of uh, rubber tires. Um, however, the company grew throughout the years to create braking systems and uh, different electronic uh, integration uh, and right now has decided uh, that part of their DNA going forward is to become a market leader in software and software integration with next generational intelligent transfer systems mm -hmm. which involves connected vehicles mm -hmm. not just passenger vehicles but commercial vehicles transportation systems mass transit systems fleet vehicles on and on and on so this operation is based uh, in Silicon Valley and Munich and we're very excited to be now in the process of hiring some of the world's leading talent in software engineering mm -hmm. And um, as you said, Continental is um, the one of the latest companies jumping in the autonomous cars bandwagon. Like uh, before that, we, I mean, late, lately it is Tesla and, and Google already in that, and uh, Audi and the other main auto um, automotive uh, manufacturers as well. So, what is the next frontier in in the in the automotive or, or in the self-driving cars and the yeah. industry? Yeah. So, um, Mary, there's a lot of work being done, and that will have to be done in order to have fully automated vehicles, uh, autonomous vehicle technology in the marketplace. Right now we're working on highly automated driving, which are the driver assistance um, systems that enable cars to be more intelligent, have dynamic um, reactions to vehicle data, using vehicle data and integrated data um, that enable cars to be, and continue to be more and more intelligent, that can create different capabilities such as blind spot detection, lane keep assist, um, ACC. Many cars now that are starting to become state of the art and using these systems are supporting cars to become more and more um, integrated with the data systems and the hardware and software that create a much safer environment, a much more efficient environment of driving and a much more comfortable in uh, uh, environment. And I think we're, we're where Google and um, and certain other uh, uh, Tesla uh, were kind of useful is by really uh, jump starting this creativity in the marketplace with shorter development cycles um, than the traditional automotive industry. And I think right now you're seeing a nice convergence happening that's starting to support highly automated driving in the market. And I think um, uh, I will also want to ask you about one challenge about regulations. Do you think that when 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 the industry itself get, gets prepared for this, the regulations will also be like in favor of? Well, there's a lot of work being done right now in trying to qualify and quantify like how safe is software, and this is the, hopefully we're establishing best practices, driving towards standards of frameworks for trying to um, make sure that the the features are in place to promote 
highly automated driving and right now there's a lot of very creative minds in uh, Department of Transportation, National Highway Safety um, Organization and throughout you know the Europe as well that are working on trying to satisfy how safe is safe with software technology and this is a challenge but I think it's very important that the regulate regulatory environment does not impede the technology proliferation otherwise we're not really advancing the technology and we don't want to be in the position where we let regulatory you know prohibit technology growth in uh, in this field so that's the end of my questions. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. You, it was a pleasure. This is a great web summit, by the way. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye.